Okay guys, we are out here at Extreme Ventress day three, which is Saturday. And today they're gonna have the second part of the 75 yard qualifier. That's where you shoot your second card, which has 25 uh, targets on it. You get 25 minutes to shoot it, if I remember correctly. And you can only shoot pellets. And they're gonna take your card from yesterday and your card from today, add them together. So you'll get 250 from each card, a total of 500. And if you're one of the top shooters, you'll be at the 100 yard bench rest, extreme bench rest, uh, final competition for the big prize, big money, and big fun. So join us today. There's also gonna be speed silhouette and there might be other events, but I'm not on top of things. So I'll keep y'all updated, stick with us. Okay guys, they're about to start the first relay of the 75 yard qualifier, uh, day two of the qualifier, which is day three of the bench rest, which is Saturday. And we're gonna go around and take a couple looks at the guns. Uh, but I've already shown y'all a lot of stuff and I don't wanna be redundant. So I'll show y'all what I can that makes sense to show. second card going for the 75 yard qualifier. Okay guys, I just shot my second card at the 75 yard qualifier here at EBR and I'm absolutely ecstatic. Everybody's making fun of me. I was jumping around on my bench because I definitely shot the best I've ever shot. Might not have beat anybody here, but I definitely beat myself. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled. My first three shots were like 10 X's. And with the pellet challenge, look at that pellet challenge. Take that, but it's supposed to be at the head of the pellet, so it's not ideal. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think somebody else probably beat me at it. I usually come close but don't win. So here's the card. Gonna take some photos in just a minute. But ha ha ha. <laughs> Need these ice iguanas to try to shoot iguanas out here in the desert with cactuses and iguanas, but I didn't make it to the range in time and they've already made the lot hot. I'm gonna try to shoot them later. So I'm headed back over here at where the big bore happened yesterday, and this is where they do uh, demos on Saturdays during EBR. And so a couple companies will bring guns for you to try out. <laughs> I got to try out air arms and shot um, a, a chicken at like 230 yards that was pretty awesome. And so uh, I'll show you that gun now and other people shooting and getting ready for speed silhouette. And here's the gun I shot at 230 yards, I think, a chicken. Holden's on it now. It's a 223, right? And it's a 223 cap.
Okay, guys, I just wanted to wrap up uh, day three, um, which is Saturday. I wasn't able to do a final wrap up. The, the day just kind of ended quickly. It's so hot and you get really exhausted if you participate in all of the events. We had speed silhouette yesterday and the second qualifier, 75 yards. So we got to find out who's shooting the 100 yard bench rest. I'm going to post the results here. I made 14th as my final score. <laughs> there they are. That was Garrett. I made 14th on the final score of the uh, bench rest, and you had to be in the top 10 to make it. So I did not make it, but I'm very happy with my scores. For some reason, I did the math wrong on my second card, but um, my total was like a 452, I think, and with 10 X's. So I'm super happy with it, and hopefully I can do better next year because it's pretty close to qualifying. Um, and on the third day, just to update you on how it goes here at EBR, at around five o'clock, we go up there and they have another building where they have all the raffle tickets and they have the raffle prizes and they have good food and food trucks. I eat the hamburger, I recommend it. And um, just get to do a, we had a dunk tank and all kinds of fun and get to learn some of the results. And they find out who's the final shooters for Speed Silhouette. So today is day four. And um, I'm going to set up a video showing y'all what happens on day four. over here at EBR and um, we have the final for speed silhouette that's super fast the fastest time was 17 seconds yesterday so we're gonna see if we can get some footage of that I didn't feel well yesterday and didn't catch as much footage of the speed silhouette as I would have liked um, and then we're also gonna have of course the final hundred yard bench rest with excellent shooters and amazing guns so I'm hoping to be able to show that to y'all soon um, so stick with us the video is gonna be a little bit shorter because I didn't want to be redundant and keep just showing y'all the same stuff over and over so I'm trying to show you whatever's new for each day today's the final day of EBR they're gonna give out prizes and have a big ceremony do a big raffle and it's just a fun ending of the weekend so uh, I hope to share some of it with you soon
pressed it. Hold on to that. That's man. not helpful. That's oh. not helpful. Turn you around. said record. Turn it around. Oh. Turn it around. Now, how big is this pillow? No. That big? How many grains? <laughs> 365. 365 grains? Yep. All right. What caliber is this? 45. 45. We dialed for, All right. we dialed for that long distance now. We're really low on air on our tank. Oh, really? I can't shoot it? Oh, of course you can shoot it. Oh, it just won't go as far. It might drop a little lower. 50 pound hammer spring, so it's a fair to cock. Another one. One more. That's, one a, more? that's low power. <laughs> Really? That turkey there, that's 430. 435. I don't 430. see a turkey where the bell was. Yep, there, yep, right behind the bell. Yeah, the two turkeys, I see. Take 35 on the scope, put it right on, on it. 35 on the scope. Yeah, the reticle, the reticle. Oh. you'll see 10, 20, 30, yeah. hold 35 on it. Fussy, fussy, fussy. It has to be just right. There he is, there he is. I've pulled over to 35? Yeah. Yeah, hang on, man. Don't shoot yet. 35. Dang, we're shooting way over the turn. Alright. Hang on a minute. Alright, we're ready. Alright, we're gonna. Rocking it with the bush buck. Here we go, rocking it with the bush buck. On, I don't like how good it is. Okay. Because I know this one kicks. Not I much. no regular air Flavor gun. the right side of the bush. I'm pulling a little to the right, yeah. Oh, you nicked it. I did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got you turkey. How far? How far was it? 430. 430 yard metal turkey. I nicked him. He's still flopping around a little. He didn't quite do it. <laughs> on the head. I nicked him on the head? Oh, I killed that one. I hit him with a 45, nicked him in the head. He don't feel good. <laughs> okay, guys, they're getting ready for the finals for the um, speed silhouette. So these are the best of the best. I'm going to try to show you all some of the guns, but there's so many people. Right there. Right, so you're right behind. Yeah, John Bagakis. <laughs> Those chickens and turkeys are about to get it. Good morning, Caleb. Good morning. Who's getting it first, the rams or the chickens? Uh, I always go chickens first. Chickens first. Target. Yeah. Chickens first. Everybody Josh. has their own preference. Though. I know. That's why I asked. <laughs> Good luck, man. Who's first to get it, Tom? The chickens or the rams? Oh, whoever shows up in the scope. Oh, whoever shows up in the scope first gets him. Take that. Chicken's better duck. Who gets it first, Nick? The chicken or the ram? Oh, the ram. The ram? The ram? Me too. I like the ram first. <laughs> so we got two for chickens, one for the ram. I'm going to try to zoom in on it and see if I can show you all, but they shoot them all in like 17 seconds, so I'm sorry if I miss it.
Are you team ram first or team chicken? Okay. This is the heat that we will qualify for a second and third finish places off of. So best of luck to all shooters that are competing. Shooters ready. Fire. Chicken carnage on the ground. Chicken carnage. Look at this. Chicken carnage. What happened, chickens? Secrets. <laughs> Chickens or rams first? Rams. Benjamin's out representing for speed silhouette, huh? Chickens or rams first? Rams. JT? Yes, sir. Any questions for me, buddy? No, sir. Chicken or rams first? Probably rams. Rams. What do you think? I've, I've heard both. I'm, I'm going to do a survey. Like, oh, yeah, we got to know team chicken or team ram. Oh, yeah. ram. Team ram. <laughs> Chickens or rams first? Chickens. Chickens. Team chicken right here. We got a few rams. You're only you're one of a few on team chicken. 2023 Extreme Speed Silhouette Finals for the Open Class. Let's give a round of applause for all these 10 shooters. These are the fastest shooters who qualified yesterday in the Unlimited Class. And today they're going to be competing. We're going to determine spots one, two, and three. Dry fires are okay right now. I just don't want to hear any metal. For practice, I'm going to throw those results away. They will not be tabulated at all. The second heat is the one that is going to determine first place, second place, third place. And that is the one where you want to save all of your speed skills for. Is the second heat. The first one does not matter. We'll qualify first, second, and third place. Shooters ready. Fire.
Out here at Extreme Bench Rest. And who do we have? But iguanas. Look at that. Ice iguana made it out here to Arizona. I have a feeling he's not gonna last long. We're not gonna be able to shoot him because the lion's cold, but they're definitely out here. We have the 100 yard finals going on here. These guys are shooting at 100 yards. Hey guys, I'm out here with the winner of Speed Silhouette. Is that considered open? Open, or what? yep. Open Speed Silhouette, which means he gets to start with the Mag M. Yep, Mag M, I'm running a semi-auto. Okay, and so tell us what you were shooting and yep. how'd it go, what's your name, everything. Yep, so my name is Ethan Butterfield, I'm a design engineer at Benjamin Air Guns, and I was running a Woodstock semi-auto Marauder. So it's got that Turkish stock. Um, I'm running a Midwest Elite magazine, so I got 37 rounds with our brand new 22 cal 14.3 14 grain matched uh, match grade pellets. And how long you been practicing for this? You practice I, every day? I, no, not not as much as I should. Let's say. That. Well, clearly you Enough did it as win. much as you should because you won, right? right? Okay. And so, what was your time? Uh, my best time in the qualifiers was 17, and my time to win was, was 18. It was 18. So you were the one with the 17 seconds that's, I saw on the right. thing. Right. This guy's a little fast, y'all. So here's the key question. Rams or chickens first? I went, I went with the pigs. You want the pigs? I want the pigs. He's a rule breaker, y'all. <laughs> He's a rule breaker. So, all right. So pigs first is how you win. So now we all know the, the, the secret. And so thank you so much for joining us. And we're glad that y'all got out here because without great shooters like you, this event doesn't matter. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Okay, guys. Jessica with Iguana Solutions. I'm here with... Thane Simmons. And what'd you shoot? 
shot bench, yeah, bench rest, and uh, ended up winning the competition. And you won that yeah. thing, right? What's That's this right. thing right so here? So this, this is a trip to Day State to go pick out a rifle at the factory. So you excited about that? You yeah. already know who you're picking? I, I don't yet. You I don't, don't yet? yet. Nope. Okay, okay. And I hear that you may have possibly won some things before. Yeah. So this is the third win in a row, which has never been done before. That's what's exciting about this event. Patrick is. Uh, we had we had uh, Armac. So I, I won Armac. Armac. Year. And then I won Pyramid Air Cup. Pyramid and then Air Cup. I came Cup. here and I won uh, Extreme Bench Rest. So EBR. Three all three. All three. You ecstatic? You yeah. don't look ecstatic. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. You're, you're shaking inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm shaking inside. All right. Yeah. We're thrilled for you, man. I'm okay. glad that you made it out here. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you again next year. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Take care. Can you take this for me? <laughs> I messed up. I didn't tell you what gun he shot, what pellets he's shooting or anything so that you can copy him and beat him next year and take his money. So he's going to tell us now so that we can all improve. Let's go. You guys will have the chance to beat me next year. So I'm shooting a new prototype gun from the Karma line. Uh, so you'll want to contact Donnie from Donnie FL, but it's called the RP, the Red Panda. And it is a 30 cal air rifle that, as you've seen three in a row, performs absolutely amazing. I'm shooting JSB 44 grains. Okay, and so you're talking about the Donnie FL that normally makes silencers or suppressors for air guns, but they've started making a new gun. Yep, the Camaro. And, and that's the one that he shot. So um, I'm gonna have to see. I got video of the gun, so we'll show it to y'all in a minute. So this is the raffle here at the EBR 2023 by Air Guns of Arizona. And you can win these guns and this equipment with a simple raffle ticket. Definitely better than any lotto ticket you've ever bought. Better chances and better winning. So even if you don't shoot at EBR, it's a great thing to attend, a great event that brings lots of knowledge and lots of networking and lots of awesome guns through raffle. That looks like the Sahara that I have. Ooh. Got a Umarex there. All kinds of amazing guns. There's the jet air javelin that's gonna shoot your arrows. All of these are up for raffle, guys. Everything. I'm gonna try to show y'all some of the people who win the raffle guns. When it comes up, it's the last event they do every year. Awesome equipment. Amazing scopes. Aftermarket parts. Bipods. Binoculars. And the equipment goes on and on. A tripod more guns definitely going to want to enter the raffle it just goes on and on look at this
two hours later. Still? Don't worry, this is only half of them. So, My dad's doing the other half. He's, he's tearing apart the other half. No, he's turning in the other half. He's, he's, he's going to drop the other half in. No, I'm putting half into here. Yeah. Okay. We're fighting over the same gun. I'm gonna get the little SpongeBob thing that it's like two hours later. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been trying to shake it up. <laughs> Y'all are out of control. <laughs> much, much, much later. Everybody's eating. Look who's still over there. Hang on. Four hours later. <laughs> it's full. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can't even try to get it anymore. This this raffle's closed. Thanks to this guy. He's gonna shove more in it. Let's see it. Let's see it. I started filming you from way across the room. Still shoving them in. <laughs> What happened? Well done, Ever. Well done. Well done. He's been enough time. Show us what happened. Oh, 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 oh. He freaking won it. He got the gun. It took hours to put all the tickets in, but he won.